Have you ever wondered why rich people never seem to be doing much, yet are always making tons of money, while the rest of us have to work our entire lives and never seem to get ahead? Well, that's because the rich are fucking crooks, not content to continue stealing from us through their vicious system of wage slavery. <laughs> These greedy bastards keep getting caught breaking their own rules. 28 counts of conspiracy, fraud, and insider training, guilty on all counts. The financial officer were convicted of taking more than $100 million in bonuses. The former NASDAQ chief allegedly confessed that his investment business was a fraud. 16 felony charges, 19 in all, including conspiracy, wire fraud, extortion. The former Senate leader exploited his powerful position to enrich himself. This should not be surprising considering this entire society is built on a foundation of theft. So the question remains, why are we letting these fuckers have all the fun? According to a 2004 study, 4 out of 5 people either steal from work or actively condone the practice. So if you're part of the other measly 20%, then what the hell are you waiting for? An invitation? Well then, here it is. This April 15th is Steal Something From Work Day. When trying to figure out the best items to pilfer from your job, try to include things that have practical uses for your community, such as groceries, camping equipment, computers, color printers, photocopiers, cash, or whatever else you find lying around. Tired of getting pushed around by your boss? This April 15th, it's time to push back. Stop taking shit from your boss and start stealing instead. This video is intended as a rhetorical device only. In simple terms, it aims to uncover already prevalent phenomenon of workplace theft, not to encourage those who otherwise would not commit such illegal acts. Neither the filmmakers or compositors are responsible for the people navigating to it or what they do afterwards. This is a public service announcement from your friends at CrimeThink, Submedia.tv, and Iconoclast Media.